Good afternoon. Welcome to the uh, board meeting for the Community College Community District. Uh, this meeting is the annual organizational meeting in which a chancellor will call the meeting to order and preside during the election of the chair. Uh, ed, uh, Education Code 72000 requires the annual organization meeting of the Board of Trustees to be conducted within 15 days of the first Friday in December. We will begin with the reporting of the election results and the administration of the oath of office. In the recent elections, in Trustee Area 1, Ms. Margie Balkan received 1,792 votes from Stanislaus County, 9,809 votes from Tuolumne County, and 3,590 from Calaveras County, for a total of 15,191. Denise Springer received 1,942 votes from Stanislaus County, 7,752 votes from Tuolumne County, and 3,065 votes from Calaveras County for a total of 12,759. In trustee area two, Nancy Hinton received 13,180 votes from Stanislaus County. Matt Erickson received 9,299 votes from Stanislaus County. In trustee area four, trustee Andy Martini received 7,693 votes from Stanislaus County and 23 votes from Santa Clara County for a total of 7,716 votes. Um, Merced County. Sorry? Merced County. Oh, Merced County? Uh, okay, she'll get that information. So it's not on my uh, list here. Okay, well, thank you for uh, that uh, reminder. Penny Williams received 600 and for 6,047 votes from Stanislaus County, 11 votes from Santa Clara County, for a total of 6,058 votes. In trustee area seven, Antonio Aguilar received 6,758 votes from Stanislaus County. Omero Mejia, received 5,346 votes from Stanislaus County, and John Tyler Jr. received 4,559 votes from Stanislaus County. At this time, it is my pleasure to call on Judge uh, Ruben Villalobos to administer the oath of office to our new and returning trustees. So would the trustees please uh, gather at the front and be sworn in by uh, Judge Villalobos. and repeat after me. I state your name. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California and that 
that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. I now declare you officially members of the Yosemite Community College District Board of Trustees. We have documents for you to sign over at uh, Graciela's. <clears throat> While they are signing the documents, uh, let me give you an update. For trustee area four from Merced County, trustee Andy Martini received uh, 2,063 votes. So her total votes was 9,979. Uh, Penny Williams received from Merced County 1,637. So her total votes was uh, 7,695. We invite the uh, trustees to be seated uh, after the signatures. And item 1.3 is the reorganization of the Board of Trustees. The purpose is to elect the new chair for the board. Now, in some boards, uh, the leader, the executive uh, leader of the, of the board is called the president of the board. Uh, at this district, in our organization, in our policies, this person is designated as the chair. Okay, at this time, I would like to open the nominations for the position of the chair of the Board of Trustees of YCCD. Nominations are open. I nominate Leslie Beggs for chair. I'll second that. Okay, there is a nomination and there is a second. Uh, is there another nomination? I'll move that. The nomination be closed in a unanimous ballot. Okay, Nom nomination for the uh, process to close. Is there a second to that? Uh, second. Second, okay, very good. Uh, we will have a vote now uh, to appoint Leslie Baggs as the chair of the board of YCCD. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Or those opposed, abstain. Leslie Beggs is the new chair of the Board of Trustees for YCCD, and it is my pleasure to turn over the gavel to her.
Thank you very much. Okay. In case I didn't know who I was. Okay, so next up we are to elect a vice chair. Um, so I would like to open that for nominations for vice chair. I would like to nominate Abe Rojas for the position of vice chair. I'd like to second the motion. Are there any other nominations? Okay. I'd like to close the nomination period for vice chair. Do we need a second for that? I'll second it. I do. Point of order, if you're going to make those nominations, which are not necessary, we have to vote on that motion before we can vote on the vice chair. Oh. Okay. So we have to vote on closing the nominations? Because someone made a motion, you have to vote okay. on it. The chair could have declared the nominations closed. Okay. So all in favor of closing the nominations for vice chair? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Say. Say nay. Motion carried. Motion carried. Okay. So now can we vote for Abe Rojas, the motion to nominate Abe Rojas for vice chair? All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Any opposed? Okay. Motion carried. So but all right, so our next one is, let's see. Oh, does he have to move too? Okay, good. Perfect. Kim, you're doing a good job as Vanna White there. Okay, we all set. Okay, next we need to, this is 1.5. We need to um, appoint Chancellor Young as secretary to the Board of Trustees. So moved. Second. Motion, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? Motion carries. All right, next we need, sorry, we need to appoint the stenographer to the Board of Trustees, which would be um, Graciela Molina as stenographer. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 1.7. Is a reorganization of the Board of Trustees to designate the time and place of regular meetings. You can see the list in your board packet of all of our meetings. Do I we move have a we motion? I move we adopt the recommendation. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, okay, now we're up to 1.8. We need to appoint a member to serve on the Association of Stanislaus County School Boards. And I believe we have the same person for 1.9 also. So who would like to do that? Uh, I would like to nominate Antonio Aguilar. Do you accept that nomination? Uh, it's a noon meeting. Okay. It's easy. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll second that. All right. And do I, Anne, I'm trusting you because you have more experience with Robert's Rules of Order and Graciela, or Ro, Rosen, Cran, Rosenberg's, whatever it is. Okay. It's the shorter, kinder version of Robert's Rules of Order. <laughs> but I don't speak that native language in, at all. Okay, so um, do I just appoint or do I need a vote? Well, you can ask if there's any objection. I have no objection. Okay. Any objection? All right, you are appointed to that board, Antonio. To, bo to both of those. You are also our um, voting representative in 1.9. All right, 1.10 is the reorganization of the Board of Trustees to appoint a member to serve on the Valley Insurance Program, the, JP, the JPA. Do I have um, anyone who's interested in doing that? I would like to. Okay, Nancy, is, is anybody else interested in that? I would like to continue in that position. You would? Okay. I'm um, currently on, on that. Board. That's a skip, right? Did you, go ahead, Susan. Um, uh, Trustee Rojas is currently in the middle of a two-year term, and the board did um, vote to continue that in September. Okay, okay. So then you will continue, and then maybe Nancy has expressed interest after that. <laughs> okay. Um, and because she's expressed an interest, maybe you could um, give her some information on that and sort of mentor her. Okay, that would be great for the future. All right, so Abe is going to continue in that. And then uh, we're up to 111, one, reorganization of the Board of Trustees, appoint three members to serve on the Finance Standing Committee, which right now has Darren and you. Even Don Vest. And Don is. Don is gone now. Okay, so we need. Now we can. I'll nominate Nancy. Are you interested in that, Nancy? Well. We meet once a month. Is anybody else interested? Well, I'd like to continue serving. Uh, right. Right. I'm talking to. I don't know. Does Antonio, would you like to do that or? Sure. Okay. Date. You don't want to do it? No, I thought Antonio wanted to oh, do okay. it. Oh, so. okay. So you look a little more enthusiastic than Nancy does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it to me. I'll take it. All right. All right. I will appoint Antonio to that position. All right. So we're up to 1.12. Appoint three members to serve on the policy standing committee. Um, right now, that has been Anne. And I would like to continue. Leslie and Lynn Martin, and I'd like to thank her for her um, great work on that committee. I would like to work on that committee. Great. Anybody else interested? All right, I am appointing Nancy. And? and Leslie and Anne. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Can can we go back to um, we're on one one eleven and one twelve? Can we get uh, motions for those seconds and votes for for the finance and the policy? We, it used to be we just appointed the chair. Yeah. Are we going away from that? Or? In the past, I I remember being appointed. Is it just appointed? Okay. Uh huh. But I don't know what the difference. Uh, any changes in the last two years? Or? If if would it would it appointment um, then then no, we're we fine. just the chair just appoints <laughs> if that becomes a problem let us know and we'll redo it okay um, is there we're up to 113 then is anybody interested in serving on the MJC foundation I'm doing that right now but I'm open to anybody else who wants to do it. Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> I <second> that one. <laughs> okay, I will continue there. Um, 1.14. Uh, this is to appoint a member to serve on the Columbia College Foundation. I've talked to Margie, who represents that area, and she has expressed an interest in doing that, and I believe she's already on the foundation board. So if there are no objections, I'm going to appoint her to that position. We'll do that next, next time. Mm -hmm. And Great Valley Museum Foundation, the LIA, this is 1.15. Anne is currently the liaison there. Um, it's my opinion that um, board members benefit from having several different experiences. And I don't think it's appropriate for the same person to stay on a particular committee year after year after year. I, th I think we benefit by having different experiences. So I've served on that, um, that liaison for about four years. And I would be happy to let someone else take the mantle. If no one else is willing, then you can reappoint me for a year. It's, they meet once a month at 5 p.m. on the first Wednesday of the month. I'll be willing to serve on the Museum Foundation. Great. All right, I will appoint Nancy to that position. So, Graciela, are we all caught up with where we need to be for appointments? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, um, are there any public po comments at this time? No public comments. Okay. So, we are going to recess and go to our reception next door to welcome the new trustees. Thank you. Thanks. I'd like to take this. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the family members for attending the swearing in. I know that uh, you're proud as everyone else's family usually is. So thank you for coming out and supporting your parent or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes, Trustee Beggs? Yes. Would you like to just share um, when the board, the board will resume closed session at 3.30 then? We will. To address the items listed on the agenda. Um, okay, so we are going to. That's me, sorry. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Yes, our, thank you. Our first fine of the, of the year. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, we are going to <laughs> recess to closed session at 3.30. And um, because I have been married for a long time to a long time professor here, when we get to negotiations, I'm gonna designate another board member to um, run those discussions and I will step back. And then we will be back at 5.30 for the regular public meeting. Anything else? Okay, now we're really done. Take two.